morning everyone! A lot of you have commented that your favorite videos are when I do a day in the life video and I've only done one or two of those so I thought you know what today is going to be a very ordinary day nothing major is happening I have some school shopping I need to do spend the day with my boys and you know what I thought I might as well bring you guys along and show you what a day in my life during summer vacation looks like so stick around one of the first things I like to do every morning is make the bed. I, If the bed's not made, the day hasn't started. And I like to get it all nice and tidy with my little lovey on top and the pillows nice and flumped. And that's just, it feels right. I put makeup on every morning, even during summer vacation. It's just something my mom programmed into me that, you know, you wake up and you put your face on and you start your day. So I wear everything that I would always wear and now I'm fixing my hair and I learned an easy way to do my hair with a big curling iron. I use the one and a half inch barrel and I just kind of curl everything under. I do the bottom hair first and pile the rest on my head and I don't hold the heat to my hair for very long because I'm not looking to actually curl my hair. I just want to get the, you know, the kinks out from sleeping on it and then kind of turn the ends under a little bit so that you get a softer look. Now I'm dropping the sides and I'll do the same thing with those. Just quickly run the curling iron over it, hold it for like two seconds so that the ends curl under. And then I drop the top and I use the curling iron, do three big large rolls going backwards. Uh, I look a little silly right now, but the end product is worth it. I, I like it. Now I'm just giving a little freshening up with my TG Rockaholic Dry Shampoo because this is three day old hair. So I want to keep it looking fresh. And that's it. Once I'm ready for the day, now it's time to tidy up the rest of the house. Right now the boys are still asleep and so I take advantage of this little bit of quiet time. I get the dining room organized because as you can see my kitchen table becomes a catch-all for everything. I think that happens in everyone's house. The dining room table, it just it becomes a dumping ground. So I'm trying to get everything collected, organized, put away, stuck in the right place. Then we go to the kitchen and unfortunately my son did not do a very good job the night before putting away all the dinner dishes. So before I can even get to work on making a simple little breakfast, I have to clean up everything from the night before. And also my husband, he wakes up really early to go to work, and so he'll make his lunch in the morning while we're all still sleeping, and then he'll leave his you know, cutting board and everything lying out, so I get all that put away as well. Once the dishwasher is loaded, I wash my gloves, and I love those gloves. I just bought those ones at Kroger because um, my yellow ones ripped open finally after a couple of years, and my hands get really dry, and as a mom, I'm forever in water. So anytime I can use a pair of gloves to protect my hands and my fingernails and make my manicure last a little longer, that is a good thing. But as you can see, after I take off my gloves, then I realize, oh, I still have this and this and this and this that needs to be washed and wiped down. So, yeah, and never done. Kitchen's all clean. Now it's time for me to find some caffeine. I don't do coffee in the morning, so it's a crystal light with the caffeine in it. I love those things. The wild strawberry is my favorite. And now that that's done, it's time to go wake the boys. The boys are up and ready for breakfast, and Casey's wearing his Gryffindor robes, uh, or his Hogwarts robes, and yeah, he's, as I said in an earlier video, he's definitely a Harry Potter lover, and so we're just having a simple breakfast. We have toast, and AJ's all about the butter and jam. Casey and I, we like a peanut butter toast. It's a little bit more filling, and then this is our time of the day where we kind of check in with each other, talk about what we're going to be doing today and getting our plans straight. I want to 
to give a big shout out to Catherine Fletcher. Thank you so, so much. Catherine was so kind to me and my students. She sent me an e-gift card for Staples for $25. And she sent this to me several months ago and I've been holding on to it for just the right time. And today is the day I'm gonna be using Catherine's $25 gift card. I'm gonna show you why. Because this week in Staples, they have the Poly folders, which are the, the plastic ones for 50 cents each. And I've already figured it out that I can get 30 folders for $15. And they have the Crayola crayons for 50 cents a box, the 24 packs, which are the ones I really like my students to have. These are so much better than just the eight individual colors. And I prefer these immensely to the packs of 48 or God forbid 64 crayons. I don't think there's a teacher on earth who smiles when they see a kid walking with 64 crayons because we know those are all just going to get dumped. But so I can get all 30 folders and all 30 boxes of crayons for $30, which will leave me owing just $5. So Catherine, oh my God, Thank you, girl. You gave me a huge help today. So, yeah, but this is definitely one of the things on my to-do list, to go to Staples today and get these supplies along with a few other things that Staples has on sale. And then the boys and I are going to make our once-a-year trip to Walmart to get uh, the remainder of the school supplies that I need today. So. Before we took off for the day, I wanted to make a few phone calls first. I needed to call the veterinarian for Boo and make an appointment for her. I needed to call the pharmacy to refill my prescriptions, and I needed to call this water person because we have to do something for the, the water backflow, which I don't understand, but state says we have to do it. So we're here at Staples, and I too have my, well, sort of happy to volunteer workers with me. And eh, really, let's face it, they're here begrudgingly. I made them come, but that's okay, because I'm a teacher. And I'm the boss. Ooh, school supplies. Teacher's paradise. But we are on a mission. We need crayons and folders. And the moment, I'm not finding them. Oh, I also want these erasers though. They have erasers that are three pack for 25 cents a pack. You know, I'm gonna have to grab a sale paper. I forgot mine at home. So, yeah, you need a sale paper. Score, I found the grants, and there's plenty. I managed to get everything I came for. I got my 30 boxes of crayons, and they're allowed to buy 30 at a time. Uh -huh. And I was able to get 30 of the poly cover two pocket folders. And I'm so happy that these ones have the three prongs inside them. So one of my jobs this week will be stuffing my folders to get ready for that first day of school. And they have the erasers right now, 25 cents a pack. So for a dollar, you get 12 erasers. I'm spending four dollars to buy 46, no, 48 big block erasers. And the reason I really needed AJ to come was because in his buggy, I have 10 more folders and 10 more crayons. So this way I have 40 of everything. And because last year, if you guys remember, on the first day of school, I actually had 36 kids in my room. Now eventually they opened a four or five split and six of those kids went to the other classroom. But just to make sure that I'm really ready for the first day of school because you never know what's gonna happen, I have 40 of everything. Although I'm seriously hoping and praying I don't end up with 40 students. Yikes, that's too many kids. We're in Walmart right now. AJ just went off to look for an auxiliary cord for his amp and his bass guitar. But so I wanted to show you real quick what I have here. Uh, Walmart actually had these for 15 cents a folder. And so again, it's the poly folders with the three tab um, prongs inside. I love the three tab prongs. So I was able to grab 40 of these and I also love the fact that I was able to grab them in Gryffindor colors, yay! And then I grabbed some pencils, um, some color pencils that are 97 cents a pack, grab 10 of those. I find that when you're doing math activities, color pencils work much better than crayons. They don't smear, they're, they don't break as easily as crayons do. And just a few other things, these are actually for my boys. But so, yep, did you find your cord? How much is it? Seven bucks. And you're going to pay me back, right? Yes. In fact, you have $4 in your pocket right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, good deal. In fact, I have 14 Okay, so. 
He has a cord. I have school supplies. It's time to leave Walmart. So we're in the car. We just left Walmart and a moment ago I was so, so happy because I was going to get 30 poly folders for 15 cents each in Gryffindor colors. Super excited. Get to the register and they start ringing up for 50 cents each. And I'm like, wait a minute, there were signs everywhere that says that those folders were 15 cents each. So the person goes back there, comes back a minute later, can you show me where the folders are? I can't even find the folders. Really? You can't, you, there's like an entire aisle of folders, you can't find the folders. So I go back there with her and I show her all the folders. I show her the sign that says 15 cents each. I mean, there's like a thousand folders there and there's multiple signs that says roll back three prong folders, 15 cents each. If you read this really fine, fine print, it says three prong paper folders, 15 cents each. So we're looking for the paper folders that are three prongs in them, two folders. There were two paper folders there with three prongs in them, a thousand poly ones, and nope, so I had to put my folders back. I am not happy. I hate Walmart. I hate Walmart. Every time I go in there, something is wrong. Every single time. It's never just a simple go in, buy it, leave. There's always a problem. Where's the border? So we decided to make a run for the border. Nacho Bell Grande is for everybody. Perfect thing to eat when you're frustrated. Finally home after running to Walmart and Staples and we had to go to the pharmacy to pick up my prescriptions and we went to Taco Bell because I love Taco Bell even though it's really really bad for you. So today what I think I'm going to do now is I really want to do my folder assembly. Um, so this is something new I'm doing this summer. I've never really assembled my folders the way I'm about to before the first day of school. So I'm kind of excited to get this done. You know, I won't be able to get the students' names on them just because I don't have a class roster yet. But so I did get my 40 folders. I have 40 boxes of crayons and my erasers. And then I bought, like I said, the uh, color pencils, which are over here, um, and then some Dixon pencils. Luckily, come this summer vacation, I don't have to buy anywhere near as much as I bought last summer. Uh, a big one is the fact that I already have like 50 um, spiral notebooks at school. So apparently every summer I just keep buying like 30 books, 30 books, or 50, or however many I was buying. And I didn't even realize that in this one corner of my classroom, all the extras just kept building up and building up. And so in May and June, when I was cleaning my classroom and preparing to get it ready for the upcoming school year, I kept finding, you know, oh, here's 10 spiral bound notebooks, and here's another eight spiral notebooks, and here's another seven spiral notebooks. So I already have like 50 notebooks in my classroom, which is awesome. So that's one thing I don't have to buy this summer. Joyride. I totally want to see this movie, Skull Island, and I can't lie. A big part of that reason is, come on, come on. Not that. That guy. Right there. Oh yeah. Can we all agree? Tom Hiddleston. He's such a hottie. Oh yeah. Total babe. I decided to come outside and work on my uh, homework folder paper that I wanted to get made for the three prong part of the folders. And I came out here to work on it for a little while because Casey wanted to play in the pool and AJ took off to go play at one of his friends' house, so I didn't want Casey to be outside all by himself. So, yeah, that's what's happening right now. Why are you letting all the water out of the pool? It's not even full yet. Oh, you did? 
Once Casey was done playing in the pool, I was able to print my inserts for my folders and I'm hole punching them now so I can stick them in the tabs. I was really happy with the way it came out. They're very cute. I was able to get some cute clip arts on there and I'd actually had a, a paper already in my laptop, a document that I'd saved years ago, so I just had to do a few tweaks on it and it was ready to go. And ta-da! All done! My folders are all done. They're ready for the first day of school. If you look inside, it, in the first pocket you will find all of the forms that have to go home, that have to be filled out and sent back. And then this says fourth grade home folder uh, for communication between home and school. Dear parents and guardian, each student in my room will receive a home folder. This is your child's home folder. Please use this folder to communicate with me. Check this folder every day when your child comes home from school. I will use this folder to send home office information, lunch menus, homework, newsletters, and notes from myself. I will check this folder every morning when your child arrives at school. This is where I will expect to find any notes from home, returned homework, and notes for being absent from school. Please do not count on having response to voicemail messages messages or emails during the school day. I am very busy working with your child while he or she is with me. If you do email me, I will try to reply within 24 hours. And then it says all homework is to be returned the next day. The only exception to this will be spelling homework. Spelling homework will come home on Monday and is due back on Friday. So and then the next, last thing in here is says get in the know with Remind and it has my information to join Remind from parents. The one thing or thing I need to do is I need to get the labels adhered to the front. And in this one it's going to say return to school and this one is going to say keep at home. So that's the last thing I need to do with these and I'm actually really excited the way those turned out. I got so wrapped up in these folders that I've now killed like two and a half hours working on these folders. Putting, stuffing the folders wasn't the problem but then I needed to start working on labels. Look how cute these labels are. They're like a burgundy color and they were editable and so I printed one out in black and I'm absolutely loving them. The printer right now is printing the burgundy ones and then from a teachers pay teachers person I was able to print these and this had everything. Take home folder, return to school, take home, leave at home and but the thing with the take home cover sticker was there was no room for names. So this will definitely go on the first inside page, return to school. This will go on the back part of the folder, take home and stay home. But these are going to be my cover labels because they're labeled and they've got room for student names. So one of the big activities I will be doing on the first day of school is getting all their names on their folders and everything. And with my school, with my class, usually the first morning of school, I spend a lot of time with a Sharpie marker in my hand because my students, they, a lot of our parents don't speak English. They don't understand that you need to write the student's first name, last name, and address on their book bags, inside their folders, on their supplies. So I end up doing a lot of that. I really do. Or at the very least, I'm passing out Sharpie markers to all the students so that they can label everything. Also, um, I use black Sharpie marker a lot, but I also learned a trick because boys especially, the boys love to have black book bags, and I'm sorry if it's really dark through here, but so I've learned the best way to label a black backpack is to use these markers right here. You either get the gold Sharpie marker or you purchase, where is it, it's in here somewhere, the silver Sharpie markers. These will write on a black backpack and it will write very nicely because they have a fine chisel tip or a, they come to a nice point like all Sharpie markers do and they show up beautifully 
on backpacks that are almost impossible to write on just because the backpack is black or navy blue or some of the girls will have that really really dark purple color in fact I'm tossing these in my backpack right now <laughs> my 31 bag for that first day of school but so yeah I really do I spend a whole lot of time that first day labeling everything so and also even though I will get a class list about three to four days before the first day of school because my district is so transient I actually don't label everything because it never fails my school my class list will have like 33 names on it and out of those 33 names like oh 26 of them will show up and then two days later kid number 27 and 28 shows up and then the next day kid number 29 shows up and then the next day but those kids are new kids who weren't on the roster to begin with um, every year there's at least eight or nine kids on the roster who never come back and then you get eight or nine new kids to replace the ones that should have been on your roster in the first place so I don't label anything because what happens then is you've wasted it you know you've taken a sharpie marker and you've written someone's name on the cover of this folder or the cover of this notebook and then that kid doesn't show up and then the new kid coming in doesn't want a notebook that's got a big old scribbled out name on it and then write his name on top of it so I really don't label things until there's a physical body in the classroom with a name attached to it that's just the way it goes for my school the burgundy ones are all printed and they are absolutely gorgeous I love them boo do you like them? Hmm? Are oh, you gonna chirp for me? You gonna chirp? Who's the little girl? Who's that baby girl? See, she was down here because I was working in the office. She tends to follow me wherever I go. And, uh, maybe because she loves me, and maybe just because I have the cans. And see, she loves the cans. See, I am all about the can. Alright, and with that, I've got to stop this stuff. I really have to stop working on these folders now because I'm like wasting my entire evening on these and I have a husband who's going to be home from work any moment and I haven't even started cooking dinner yet so yeah time to go do something with raw chicken I have no clue what I gotta think fast because <laughs> he's gonna be home any minute and he's gonna be hungry you know I only have one job but I really have to do during summer vacation cook dinner and as of right now, I haven't done it. Got to do it. A super fast dinner when you forgot to cook dinner is what I'm going to show you right now. Throw some green beans in the pot. Let them steam. I like to buy this bag from Costco. It's already washed, already cut and trimmed. So you just throw in a couple of handfuls and they steam in about nine minutes. And in this one is just... a. Uh, chicken tenders that I got from the market and then once those cook you're going to dump a can of the Hunt's fire roasted diced tomatoes with garlic in them and then I've got some parmesan shredded parm in there I'm going to throw that in there too so this will have like a cheesy tomato sauce in there with the tomatoes and green beans and then just add in some sliced bread boom dinner and the whole thing takes like less than 15 minutes and dinner is done. So you've got the chicken with the tomatoes in like a sauce with some cheese in there. The green beans are done. Butter and bread. And we are all set to eat. Well, he's already been vlogged several times today wearing his Harry Potter stuff. I kind of got him on a, a Harry Potter kick too. <laughs> Dinner's all done. The mess is all clean. And I don't know about you guys, I am so ready to relax. I want to take a shower, I want to do a mask on my face, I'm ready for a little pampering, a little TLC, but before I sign off on this video for today, I want to show you what the UPS man brought me, because I'm so excited. Yeah, you gotta see. Okay, first of all, check out my six foot tall knight in shining armor. Oh yeah, 
that's what he looks like from head to toe. That is going on my wall in my classroom. I love him. I got him off Amazon Prime for, oh, I think not that expensive. He was pretty cheap, actually. And then I also got this. This is the uh, stairway, the stained glass windows, and some torches. It's not this wall stuff. But so I do have like this stairway in this package that I actually think I'm going to put this on one of the doors in my classroom. So this way the door looks like a giant stairway leading upstairs. I love it. And the stained glass windows will go in places where I don't already have windows in the classroom along with torches. I love it. And then last but not least here, I have my Pakin Fadeless Flagstone Butcher Paper. I bought two rolls of this paper, which is 50 feet long by 4 feet by 50 feet, which so it is tons of paper to cover the walls in my classroom, and I am so excited. I'm so very, very excited. As you guys know, I've kind of gone Harry Potter crazy. I really have. It's all J.K. Rowling's fault. She's probably about that new book. But so, yeah, I love it. I'm so excited. And with that, I am going to say good night, y'all. I am, I am tired. <laughs> I am really tired. So I'm going to do some pampering and have a little girl time. And then I'm going to sit here, watch some TV, and happily stick my stickers on all of my folders. And with that, if you like this video, be sure to give a thumbs up. If you want to see more from the future, click that subscribe button. And I'll talk to you guys later.